In this video, I'm going to be going over the play Mesh out of the Saints playbook. This play will do a really good job at attacking both man and zone coverages, specifically out of the gun bunch formation. And if you want to get my entire Saints offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link's going to be down in the description below. For just 10 bucks, you're going to get access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as uh, any updates to those ebooks. So if you want to sign up for that, the link's in the description. Gun Bunch Mesh, this is one of my favorite plays uh, in the game this year, and it's out of the Gun Bunch. So uh, how are we going to utilize this play? Well, specifically what we have here on the right side is we have a really good flat route to the tight end. We have a really good corner route. And then all we have to do, it's basically a quick stat play. We're just gonna come out, we're gonna streak our right side receiver. And our first read is always gonna be this tight end flat route. Now you see right there that if I free form uh, to the sideline, it's not super effective. Uh, but what I can do to make this really good against man coverage is I am just going to high point uh, and free form to the sideline. Uh, and so I'll show, you what, I'll show you what that looks like. So again, if you get man coverage, you're just gonna let him run. Freeform high ball, you see there, can kind of get the ball out a little bit more um, specifically. Now, you see again here, let me see if I can get there's the, there's the animation we're looking for. It took us about 15 times to try to get it. But anyways, uh, you see that this, this flat is really, really, really good. Now, a lot of people right now are not running, they're not running press man-to-man -man coverage. Uh, because of the short out elite ability, it, it really doesn't do them a lot of good uh, to run press man-to-man -man coverage. Like typically you're gonna be able to throw uh, your routes wide open in that scenario. Let me show you something that uh, people will do. So let's say that you're getting like cover zero pressured and they're gonna play you in man coverage with this. All you're gonna do is again, just streak quick snap this. Your tight end wide open, you can break tackle, get up for about three to seven yards. But the other thing that you have in this play is let's say that they are um, playing you in man to man or whatever, and they're playing you in cover zero. If they press this slot right off the rip, as long as your running back who's on a blue route, um, as long as your running back stays in the block for just a second, uh, which what I would do if I were you, um, you don't have to do this, you can just quick hike this, but basically one of the things I like to do is just ID this linebacker over here or this corner. And so what you'll see will happen is that running back, if I ID the corner, of course, running back will go out, but if I ID the backer, um, the, the running back will hang there for just a second and he'll block this. So if they're trying to get down and like play super aggressive, right? And they're trying to stop you, you know, you have this, he blocks that guy. And then this short out elite is gonna activate and you're gonna be able to throw this over the top almost every time for a one play touchdown against cover zero. So what that's going to do is it's going to get it so that they either have to shade over top or they have to back the coverage off um, or both. And so a lot of people are shading uh, over top and outside. And then you might get an adjustment like this over here on the left, uh, on the, uh, on the opposite side. So now uh, again, I'm ID in this linebacker. So if he comes, that guy's going to block. And then now the off coverage, right? I can throw my drag or I could throw, I could have thrown my corner there. Um, and, and so the off coverage really limits the bumping that's going to occur. Uh, again, typically it's going to be something like this, maybe shade outside. And then, like I said, you know, you're blocking here. All you do is streak this guy and snap. You can throw your tight end, you're running your tight end, but you do see that if they, if they back off the guy on the tight end, it's not as effective because for what kind of the, again, all this has to do with like the movement of the players. And so the way the players are going to move, it just makes it a little bit more difficult uh, to throw that. Uh, but the thing that you do have typically against this, and again, if you're running, if you need to just block the running back, if he's not blocking or if his blue route's dumbing out, you can just block him. Uh, but anyway, the main route is this, this corner route to the right side that you're looking for uh, against man coverage. This apparently is the best blitz in the world right now. I don't know why why he's coming in untouched, but anyways, uh, you should see here, so this corner out, just free form outside, boom, easy catch. Um, and again, that corner route is really, and again, you wouldn't call this, this more of a zone beater, um, but it can, it does have the capability uh, to be able to beat man coverage, okay? And this corner route, you gotta understand, like if they are sitting five at you, I would throw the ball to the flat quick, or you see you light up, throw it outside, boom. And that's more accurate of like the separation you're gonna get against man typically, especially against off coverage. So unless they have inside shades or whatever. So anyways, now let's talk about zone. Um, and again, specifically let's attack like pressure. So if they are sending five, 
This blue route will do a decent job, a decent enough job at picking up the pressure. And then what you'll see with this is this uh, clear out. What I like to do is put him on a fade, especially if it might be zone, and he'll get outside here and he'll clear out all the zones. And then you can throw this corner out. Now again, um, practice mode. I'm gonna call off the dogs a little bit on practice mode just because the the pass rush is insane in practice mode. But what you'll see here, this is a little bit more of an accurate deal. Free form outside. You know he's open. You just gotta get him the ball. And again, you want to run this with your bunch. Uh, you want to run this with your bunch to the short side of the field. So, you know, that way the fade will actually clear out zone. And then, again, you see wide open. I don't know why Harold Carmichael, Harold Carmichael might be off the squad. Um, you know, he's wide open, but he just can't catch the ball. So, welcome to Madden 23. But, anyway, you know, you're just it's just simple. Like, streak, corner, flat, right? They got to pick one. They pick the streak, so you're going to throw the flat. Um, you know, typically the only zone that I'm aware of that will really bag this is a double flat. And so this is what we're kind of funneling them into from a coverage perspective. And then there's a lot of other things that we can attack once we get them to double flat. But what you'll see here, here's cover two. Um, you'll notice that, you know, it's not the best against cover two, as you can see, um, especially if they back off that cloud on the outside. That's the best way to stop it um, is to run some type of cover two. Now, what you can do against cover two is you can run this version of the play, which is basically a almost like a bench type set up here uh and so what you'll see is against cover two now it doesn't really matter what they do uh you should have this tight end corner because it's it's coming a little bit more inside and it's going to get a little bit more space to the sideline and so as you can see there that's about a 30 uh a little bit over 30 yard corner route uh from the tight end that we have the ability to throw now the one thing i did want to address is match so match coverage, if you put this guy on a fade right here, it can kind of dumb out match coverage sometimes. And he has so much leverage to the sideline already that you can kind of throw the corner out even if even if they are in match coverage. Um, it's not the obviously it's not the number one route. Like we could easily just check down backside. But you'll see here it does it can kind of dumb this out, and then you can kind of ag back to the ball, and sometimes you can cut that off. Uh, against the match quarter so anyways uh, if they do run match though the biggest thing i would say is you probably want to just check this down to your drag right in that little pocket um right there of course if they have hard flats it's going to be a little cleaner um and again they're using this guy right here so you know they might just freak out go to the slot because he's on a seam streak and then you can wait on the drag and kind of check it down backside. So that's the idea with the play. Um, again, you, if, they, if, if you think they're in match, real quick pro tip, if you think that they are certainly in match, all you have to do is just block the running back and motion them across. So now the play looks like this. It's the same exact reads. Everything's the same, except now the match quarter won't play him, and you'll be able to throw that corner out. So that's how you run mesh, one of the better plays in the game for attacking man zone. It's also just a really nice, what I call constraint theory play, because it gives you the same look of bunch, but instead of attacking with the slot or with the tight end, now we're starting to utilize that outside receiver to attack the sidelines. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn more about the gun bunch offense, make sure to join the Patreon. The link to sign up for that is going to be down in the description below.